Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A friend of mine, he has this website, and he'd like to have a Angie's List review. And the Angie's List review button, he wants to come right around here next to the Yelp. So Yelp, Angie's List. So you can click on the Yelp. It'll go to Yelp. And this will open up to his Yelp page where you can leave a review and things like that. And then he wants one that goes to Angie's List. Here's the link he wants it to go to. So it's going to basically, you're going to come over here to his website. You're going to be able to scroll down a bit. Angie's List button will be right here. You'll be able to click that, and then it's going to come to this link, and you can leave a review. With that said, how do we do that? you got to make the button first. I go into Photoshop. Went, made my own button. Created my own button. Do yourself a favor. Make all your own buttons so this way someone doesn't bother you about plagiarizing or copyright infringement these days. It's a lot easier to make your own stuff. So I generated my own button and created some tints on it in Photoshop. File, save as, and I saved it into this folder right here, a root folder on my desktop. It's called Dave Refrigeration. But in here, mainly, it's images. And in images will be that Angie's List link uh, button right here. It's a PNG file. So I'm going to go over to here. And now that I know I have the Yelp one, which is right here, if I back this out, I'm sorry. If I check it, there's the Yelp one. All right, no problem. So let's go back into here. And, sorry, in here. And we want to take this link, which in turn really is this one right here. So we're going to take this right here. And we're going to copy it. We're going to make two of them. Edit, copy, come over here. I leave spaces in my script. So I, I can kind of get an idea of what's going on, what I'm doing. So I know that these are two links. So within here, here's my image. It's not supposed to be a Yelp tag, but let's just check layout. Save all. We'll check and make sure, refresh, that it's in there. There's the two Yelp images. Now, I don't want to go to Yelp again or have two Yelp images. So I did make a new image. This one is called Angie's List. So it's images. It's in the same spot. I just have to type in A in this particular uh, script editor. Angie's list is right there. File, save all. Let's check it out and see how she looks. Refresh. Wow, oh, there she is. Looking pretty good. Angie's list. Problem though. I click on Yelp. It goes to Yelp. I didn't change the link yet to the second one. So this will go to Yelp still. And also the alt tag is wrong, which I have to edit as well. So I'm going to go into here, the Angie's List one. This is my Angie's List one right here. I roll over the image. Yes, that's Angie's List. It's not a Yelp review checklist. It's an Angie's List checklist. So it is Angie's List. What I just did now is I changed the alternative tag. This means that when uh, Google's bots and things in the back end are reading, it's going to be able to see that this is an Angie's List tag and there is a link that it goes to. However, this link is not correct. So I'm going to highlight this link really quickly. After the link is highlighted, you're going to go back to the actual place on the internet you want. Copy the link. This link is from a secured site license. That's a very important thing nowadays because your backlinks, if they're not from a reputable source, they're going to lower your ranking in Google. You should have reputable backlinks and backlinks that are relevant to your images. This obviously is a review to Yelp. Um, excuse me, Angie's List. So I know that this is going to the right place. So I'm going to save this file, save all. And now let's check it out. See how she looks. Refresh. Bam. Let's click on the Angie's List. Goes right to the Angie's List link. Let's click on Yelp. Goes right to the Yelp List link. Right there. And you set up these links, and this is how you connect them to your website. It's a really easy thing to do, and the more people that review you, the higher your ranking is going to go because it shows you're a reputable institution. I recommend, you you know, you, you one hand should always wash the other. You give someone maybe a discount if they give you a review because it does help you, and in turn, you're helping them by giving them a discount on their service. So uh, that's just good business. It's entirely up to you however you want to conduct your the integrity of how you get reviews. All right? But that's Angie's list, how you do it. There's Yelp. Heck, this could be anything. This could be uh, these could be blogs. This is the same principle for your social media. But in this case, that is how you put an Angie's list review on your website. Not a very hard thing to do. 
and it will help you. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much all you're going to need for today. Thank you.